Hi everybody, I'm Leo CJ Drill, and today I'm going to show you how to cut out a shape, in this case, a rectangle in the center of a board using a circular saw. Now there's a technique called a plunge cut, and here's the thing. If you're just a regular homeowner, chances are you don't have a lot of tools. And believe me, there are a lot of tools out there that make every imaginable cut. But homeowners, they just don't own those tools. So if you have a circular saw and you have a hand saw, you can easily make the cut that I'm going to show you today. Okay, so I've got the area outlined that I want to cut. I've got my circular saw here. So what you want to do is you want to make certain that you clamp your project to a stable uh, work surface. Okay? Then you want to set your blade. And in this case, if you come in on the side, you'll notice that the blade is set at a minimal depth. So you don't want to have too much blade uh, protruding from the bottom of the wood. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called a plunge cut. And what we do is we take the shoe, the shoe is the bottom of the saw here, alright? And this is our, our reference line. We're going to rest our shoe up against that reference line, alright? Because that's going to keep you straight. And you're going to tip the saw up. If you come around, I'll show you what I mean by that. See where the, top, the saw is tipped up? All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to just slowly lower our blade. Now, the other thing you want to be mindful of, you're using this reference line, but you really want to line up your saw blade with the line you're cutting. Okay, so uh, just make certain that you, you're standing to the side of the saw, and the reason I say that is because you're going to have to pull the guard up a little bit. You don't want your clothing to get caught. In fact, I've taken off my usual a work jacket, and I've got short sleeves on because I don't want to risk my clothing getting caught in the back of the blade. And now I'm going to go just back in the other direction. Now this is a little different because we don't have to really repeat the plunge cut. We can just start the saw inside the, the cut itself. Just make certain that you, you're not up against the surface that you're going to cut because you don't want the circular saw to jump. Okay. So just to give yourself a little space and uh, we'll, I'll try to I'm going to continue down to this line. Don't worry if you haven't been able to come right up to the corner with the circular saw because you're not going to be able to do that. That's what the hand saw is for. So get as close to that reference line as you can and then stop. And we're going to continue to cut the other remaining sides. And then we're going to take a hand saw and actually cut it out, clean the corners up. You'll see how that's done. You just use a regular hand saw. So I'm going to insert it and just come down. Just repeat this process on the other corners. So that's it, folks. <laughs> and it was really easy. We used the plunge cut, and I hope you get an opportunity to use it yourself because it's, it's really an easy cut if you take your time. Take your time, be careful, do it right. If you've been waiting to put in that doggy door or cat door, this is the cut you're going to need. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.